Side Bogdanovich. Drops in the three. Now it's a five-point Hawks lead. Well, the poise of the young player Bogdanovich. That's huge. On the wing, Thompson. Launches the three. Atlanta with a rebound. To the paint. Here's Hunter. Excellent D there from Wiggins. The Warriors have gone 0 for 3 in this fourth. Not good. And here's Thompson for 3. Doesn't go that time. So Atlanta will take it the other way. Hunter with the ball. Now Wiggins defending. Outside Bogdanovich. Oh! There's the alley! Stolen by Wiggins. And the Warriors pushing it up now. Oh! It's blocked! It deflects off the backboard. And it's Wiseman missing. Man, I thought he was making that in so close. That's some aggressive defense. That's and so they foul intentionally. First team foul. And some changes here for the Warriors. Timeout. Howard's time. checked in for Wiseman. And it's Curry in for Rondo. Clint Capella, he's checked in for the Hawks. Trey Young comes in for right. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Hey, guys. During that last break, I heard Nate McMillan as he talked to the team. He told them, quote, this next stretch could determine the outcome. We can't afford to make a good play on one end and then a bad play on the other end. We need consistency, and we need to stay focused. Guys, we'll see if they can get it done. Thank you for that, Allie. Capella, pass to Collins. Bogdanovich on the wing. Driving to the basket. The rebound by Klay Thompson. Absolutely no room for error. Everything has to almost fall perfectly for them to pull this out. Pure from three-point range. He's a guy that lives for a big moment like that. Great focus and courage in the clutch. Expect them to take their time this trip down. Yeah, B.A. The clock is theirs to burn. That's his first he gets the first, and that makes it a three-point lead. The next step for Trey Young is just having that ability to focus on the defensive end and make some impact plays there. Gallinari, he's checked in for Collins. Thompson outside. Bunny! And Devin brings him within one! There is absolutely no fear in his eyes. He loves the moment of seeing that there. Huge possession, and he nets it. And they foul intentionally. That's what they have to do at this point. And a smart choice right there. I mean, you can't allow them to just drain the clock. He hits the first one, and that'll put him up two. And so he drops them both, and it's a three-point game. Well, important there to have the three-point lead because only a three can tie it up now. And here are the Warriors now. The three from Curry. Off target from downtown. And now they foul and stop the clock. Yeah, and there's no question they have to foul. Now, I'm sure they would have preferred to avoid it. First free throw is good. And that gives them a four-point cushion. His versatility, at least for Gallinari, is something that's so important for coaches to utilize. He's capable of stretching the floor the way he shoots it. When you've got your opponent down, don't let him up. This one's all but over. Get up on your feet and welcome your Warriors. Off the inbound pass. Gallinari pulls it in. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touched by Gallinari. And here's Thompson for three. Money from deep. Well, for poster guys, it's usually dunks. But I, I wouldn't mind a Clay Thompson jump shot poster to look at on a nightly basis. Good on the first. And that makes it a three-point lead. Second one is good. Getting both at the line. And it's a four-point ball game. Curry from deep three-point land. And it's in. Oh, what a sensational bucket. That brings it within one. And they need to stop the clock, so there's the foul. That's his second personal foul. Team is in with penalty. He drops the first one, and that'll put him up two. The thing you think about with Bogdan Bogdanovich, besides his first name being in his last name, is potential. A young, raw prospect with plenty of upside. And so it's Atlanta who scrapes by with a win. With the late victory, they upset.